Hey guys, Jay Shrigan here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Kariya. You guys are watching me on YouTube now. And in this session, I'm going to walk you through how to install AI models on your local system. So you don't have to use the chat GPT anymore. You can use that, but you have other options and a bunch of other options. So you can have a secure uh, communication be between the AI models. It will run on your system. I won't take much of your resources as well. So let's try this out. So for that, we are going to use this easiest way to use the local and online models on your local system. Just download this. This is available for all the systems you can have for the Apple Silicon as well, Apple M2. And once you have it, you can download a bunch of models out there. So you can first configurations you can set according to your choice. Once you have it, if you have a local models, you can load that then too. And remote providers are also there. So we are not gonna try this out because we are already using it. The first focus is not using the internet. So for that, all you have to do is click in here and you will be greeted with this beautiful page with a bunch of models out there that you can try uh, Llama 3.2 it comes with the 2 billion and 2 gigs of size that you can try it out uh, Queen and bunch of other actually and you can try this out as well uh, you can have a hugging face models in here as well or all Llama models so in order to use the biggest model fine tune that and use on your local system so you can just download from here and use that I'm gonna go with the simplest basic model provided by the Google itself which is known as uh, Gamma I guess this is but the Gamma you can use Gamma it comes for with the 2, two billion of size and uh, I'm gonna simply ask for Node.js express code with JWT and SQLize crude with a proper route and models and service folder with middleware of course and have env uh, variables variables which can which can take db parameters so this is the biggest query i guess i can have production ready code i want just show me code and commands if it works on this basic model of just 1.6 gigs of it's already working npm install express course this is perfect npm init we have to do of course it's assuming that we did npm init already express with the db config course it's using the middleware it's having the port which is coming from process env the port is 500 required dot env config this is running on local not internet i'm not using internet if i enable this then i can say i can turn off my wi-fi as well but this is running on local SQLite it's taking my system is also good I have just 16 gigs of RAM so this is running on SQLize it created exactly a user model it created a post post method two times login register I asked for the crude operation so other okay other crude if any but this is the best output I have got with the minimal uh, input if I can have a configured great so max output tokens i can increase up to 2000 maybe i'm not sure if i increase but it's gonna take your resources there so tokens i can increase i can adjust the temperature and the uh, context videos uh, window size so advanced options out there you can have your top p top k frequency bunch of other things gpu layers and not so I can click here in order to connect with the internet. I can click here to provide the right prompts. So there is a bunch of list of prompts that you can use. And if you don't want to use that, you can have uh, local models as well. You can uh, import the local models. You can have attach uh, documents if you want. DS, DSX files, any files, empty files, JSON file. It will understand all of them. Uh, images for the images, you can have uh, remote models or this AI vision model. Use local I. Can I? Okay, it, it will understand the images once I download this. That That is cool, uh, I guess. I can install this and I can run this on my local system. I'm amazed actually by using this. This is the one of the best video that 
I got to learn a lot from. So I am trying this for the very first time honestly. So there are a bunch of options. I'm not sure what it is. So it's creating something connection, I guess. Uh, hopefully. So whatever I'll write, it will create uh, the diagram, flow diagram, I guess. So I guess, guys, uh, you can try it out on your own. Sticky prompts, you can add it, image, update. So great. And I have this copy button, refresh, if you want. You can clone this. You can... Wow. Bunch of options out there. Try this out. Do let me know inside the comment box what else you want from my side. Definitely I'll make it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already. And smash that like button if you enjoyed. Till then, see you soon. Tata. Bye-bye.